a particle is moved by a force that is minus alpha m r so this is the r vector so this is the force and it's given initially the particle is at r not comma 0 and its velocity is v not j cap we need to find the trajectory of the particle so let's break this force into its x and y components and then analyze it separately because we need trajectory so let's find the positions of x and y in terms of time and then we can eliminate time to get the trajectory so if we need to know x and y as a function of time we need to write f also in terms of x and y so let's break the motion in x and y directions so force is minus alpha m r is equal to minus alpha m so r vector is x i cap plus y j cap so fx is equal to minus alpha m x and fy is equal to minus alpha m y so it's an shm in both x and y directions now the initial conditions is only what we need to bother about well, let's find just omega and acceleration oh sorry and amplitudes also omega we know is root k by m and you can see k is same so k is alpha m in both the cases so omega becomes root alpha m by m that is root alpha so in both x and y directions omega is constant now, amplitude in x direction so you can see initially it's so if you just think about the motion in x direction so its velocity is zero in x direction that means it is at an extreme and the forces are central in nature so that means it is performing shm about this point o and it is at an extreme so we can directly say since it's an extreme x is equal to ax cos omega t in phase diagram also you can see the particle is here now this is the x-axis and it starts from here and goes like this so if this is omega t the projection is what is the displacement x not display displacement sorry the position x that is ax cos omega t so x is equal to ax cos omega t now in y direction you can see that it's just crossing the mean position with velocity v naught so if you take the y direction like this so it is just crossing mean position at t is equal to zero and it's going like this so now you can see that this is the position y when it's turned by omega t so y will be a y sine omega t without phase diagram also you must know that when a particle is crossing the equilibrium position it's and if you take that position as uh, y is equal to zero then its position is given by y naught a y sine omega t so now we got x and y in terms of time so let's eliminate time to get trajectory so what we get is x square by x square plus y square by y square is equal to 1 or x square by r naught square plus y square by v naught square by alpha is equal to 1 so this is this is an equation of ellipse so the trajectory will be ellipse now i drawn it a little bit flat assuming r naught is less than v naught by root alpha it's just a blatant assumption so if v naught by root alpha is greater than r naught then the ellipse will be flat like this but anyway and and yeah of course if r naught is equal to v naught by root alpha then it will be a circle all right